<laughs> welcome back to another YouTube video. It is Friday night. I just finished up work and I'm about to go out for dinner. And I'm wearing a cute top. It's the one from Breath of Youth that uh, I showed you guys I got a couple weeks ago. And I just felt like wearing it. I put some makeup on and yeah, I'm excited to go out and have a nice dinner. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I've just cleaned my apartment, did my dishes, <laughs> made my bed, took out the trash, cleaned the bathroom, and you know, took a shower, did all that. So yeah, I'm feeling good. I always feel like really satisfied when like I've finished work and then I just like pull my life together and like clean and get ready. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to have two days off from work. Saturday and Sunday. Um, tomorrow I'm doing a latte art class, which should be fun. So it's like, you know, how to do like latte art and stuff. Um, so that'll be cool. And yeah, it's just gonna be a good weekend. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. And here is my outfit. <laughs> this is the top. And I love how it has this little like, you know, balloon sleeves. And uh, yeah, I'm just wearing my Zara skater skirt that I wear with everything and my trusty tights. And uh, yeah, probably just gonna pick out a coat and some shoes. I'm thinking maybe, mm, I don't know, maybe one of these. I'm thinking maybe this one tonight. It's my, um, it's like Wilfred, but from Aritzia and it's like wool, so it's warm. Um, and it's just like a neutral. And I'll probably throw on my these Zara white booties so I'll do that and I might do like this scarf with it and then my bag of course so that I can throw you guys in there and yay <laughs> propped up right here because I am about to iron some clothes and I figured that I would show you how I do this. <laughs> uh, so basically I have this tiny ironing board. Let me show you. Yeah, so I don't know if you can tell but this is like a miniature ironing board <laughs> and my mom actually got this for me right before I went to college. It was something I think she found at like TJ Maxx or something and I have had it ever since in every apartment because it's so convenient. It's just like a smaller size and it folds up and I keep it in my bathroom closet and then I pull it out when I need it. I do have a steamer also but what I'm ironing right now are these pants which are like super wrinkled and they're like this like thicker material and I feel like a steamer just wouldn't do the trick. So yeah, I have both. I'm gonna do that. Also, as an update, it is Saturday morning, it's 10.30 a.m., so actually, I have to leave in like 15 minutes, so I've got to do, quickly do my makeup and everything because I am going to a latte art class, uh, which is fun. I actually don't drink coffee, but it was a gift for my boyfriend Lyle for Valentine's Day because he just got a new espresso machine and so he's been making a lot of lattes and this espresso and he knows a lot about coffee already but yeah I just thought that it would be fun to do a latte art class because he does make lattes in the morning and he has the thingy and he just kind of like <laughs> goes like that and I feel like it's one of those things that's like how do you do that so I'm kind of excited to learn I'm always fun to learn new things and new skills but this ironing is actually working out pretty well and also oh, oh, I have you guys I 
<laughs> propped up on like a pillow. <laughs> um, also, it is raining out today, so I'm kind of it's kind of one of those gloomy days, which is sad because I was excited to have like you know to get outside. It was really nice this week during like during the week, but obviously I was at work, so uh, couldn't really go outside. But next week. My manager basically made it mandatory that we all take a 30 minute break each day. So I will hopefully be using that 30 minute break to walk outside for a second and get some fresh air. I'm hoping that I'll actually do it because, I don't know, it's good to just, even if you don't think you need a break, to just take a break. And yeah, because it's crazy the times that like I have gone outside during the week when I'm working. It's like it just instantly is like a mood lifter. I think it's something about just like seeing humanity <laughs> and not these four walls. I don't know guys, I'm going crazy in quarantine. Okay, also I wanted to do a little show and tell. I showed these on my Instagram stories, uh, I guess a couple days, maybe earlier this week, but uh, I was at Saks, uh, I was waiting for a friend, and I was on the beauty floor and I went into the Gucci section, and I really wanted to get one of their pretty little lipsticks that are in this gorgeous packaging. It's like this really nice gold with this like textured kind of like lines at the bottom and then it has this like floral pattern which I think is really cute yes but the shade that I got is called something rosewood Mildred rosewood this is one of their lipsticks that uh, they have like three types and this is this one is a little bit more sheer she said that it was the most popular shade it looks like this it looks really dark when you just look at it um, like like right here but when it's actually on the lips it's uh it's a little bit different than that so i'll show you what that looks like on and then they also have this bronzer which i think is so pretty it um, comes in this little pink velvet package and it's this beautiful blue and it's also gold like this with the same kind of gold pattern on the side so I just thought I'm, I'm a sucker for nice packaging so yeah I'm like think that this would be like the cutest thing to throw in your bag let me open it yep so then when you open it up oh it's so pretty it looks like this and then if you see there's a little like lever there so then once you open that up underneath there is a little Gucci brush <laughs> which I think is fun I mean obviously I've used it already this brush is I mean I think it's nice like for contouring at least if you want it it's like good to just kind of you know get in there you can like contour your nose on the side with this it's very thin or it can be very wide if you use it from the side like that so yeah I think that it, it's just so pretty um, obviously this is like a luxury item that's totally totally not necessary you can probably get a color just like this um, for less but this is just like really like a fun kind of like collector's item almost like sits on the shelf um, like sits on the sits on the vanity and looks good or in your purse when you just pull it out you know after dinner or something just to touch up but yeah I think that these are so cute so I'm actually gonna put both of them on right now and show you what they look like on all right so I have some uh, all I have on right now is some concealer I use the Glossier stretch concealer and then I put on actually the Gucci mascara, which I just have the sample when I bought these. Um, she gave me a little sample. And I actually really like it. I think that it's really nice. I wore it yesterday too, and when I took it off last night, um, it was semi-easy to come off, I would say. I mean, I you definitely would need like a separate makeup remover for it, but you know, oh well. Okay, so let's do the bronzer. I think I'm going to do just like my own brush. It's just an angled fluffy uh, this is called technically a, a blush blush brush bless blush brush <laughs> blush brush <laughs> and uh yeah i'm just going to apply that in the spots that i normally would i like that already wow i love that already okay do this side 
yeah, I mean, I think it just really kind of warms up my face a little bit. Um, obviously, in the winter time, um, I need a little extra help just to look <laughs> alive. So I like to do bronzer. This mirror is a little bit easier to see in. Okay, now I'm going to do the sides of the nose. Wow. Okay. Ooh, it smells good too. Like it actually, it smells like it's fragranced, which I know isn't great for something you put on your face. But also, I mean, it's more of a kind of like a fun luxury item. Cool. Love. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so that's that. And then just to top myself off, I'm going to do a little bit of highlighter. This is the Rare Beauty highlighter. The shade that I use is Enlighten. I love this one. Just a little dot. Do my brow bone. Cupid's bow. And I just blend that in with my fingers. Alright. And then for blush, I am going to do my trusty NARS Orgasm Blush. I love this brush. I mean, it's just, I don't know, I've been using this since I very first started makeup, like back in, I don't know, 8th or ninth grade. And I haven't been able to find a blush that I like more. I've tried so many other blushes, but I always go back to this one. I don't know. It's just like the perfect, like, peachy pinky shade, I guess, with a tiny bit of sparkle. Okay, and then now I guess it's just time for lips, so let's use the Gucci one. Yes, it is Mildred Rosewood, and it's just so pretty. Okay. So, yeah. So you can see what I mean by it's definitely not as dark as it looks in the packaging. Let me show you in better light. So, yeah. It's nice. It's it's very moisturizing, which is what I like. It's not like, doesn't feel like it's drying out my lips like a liquid lipstick does. And, uh, yeah, and you can see, like, the bronzer and stuff. I like it. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right, so I am running late. I need to put my shoes on and run over to Lyle's because we're going to go. Um, we have to go to Brooklyn for the latte art class, and I will see you guys there. early evening now this morning we went to the coffee class it was like we did learned about coffee and then did latte art which was really fun and then after that we walked to industry city because it was just like I don't know maybe like a quick less than a mile walk away and it just industry city is kind of cool we've been there a couple times over the last like two three years and it's basically like these old warehouses in Brooklyn that they turned into this like shopping slash like food like destination um which is kind of cool usually it's like it's a little bit odd because it's like very like a lot like long thin buildings all next to each other that you kind of like walk between and it's a little bit confusing and it's uh kind of like in it's just like plopped in the middle of like kind of like a more random area of Brooklyn so yeah, we did that, which was cool. And yeah, and then we came back. We were like so tired. Just like hung out, like took a nap, watched Netflix. And then now I'm back at my apartment because 
I am going to do my laundry. So we're actually going to get dinner tonight with Lyle's, with Lyle's mom, which is uh, going to be really nice. Um, we're going to this place called Bar Bar, which is an Indian food restaurant right on, right off of Bowery Street, and we love it. It's so good. Definitely recommend it. And yeah, so I'm excited for that. But before that, I usually do my laundry at his apartment because he has a washer and dryer and if not like with covid it's just annoying to like because i can't sit at the laundry mat and like wait so whatever uh, yeah so i'm gonna sort out my laundry and we lug it over there and then yeah just have a good night i guess oh and um also my i i don't know if i told you guys that i am deficient in vitamin b12 as well as vitamin d <laughs> so uh, I wanted to show you I got this vitamin B12 supplement. I actually had my mom send it to me from uh, a local f health food store in New Hampshire because, I don't know, I know that they sell good stuff. I trust them and also, like, you know, always support shop small local businesses. So, anyways, she sent me this and it is vitamin B12. It's liquid, so it has a little dropper here. And it is 2,000 MCGs. <laughs> And it's sub sublingual, which means that you put the dropper under your tongue and then you hold it there for 10 seconds and then you swallow. And apparently taking vitamins in liquid form just absorbs quicker into the system than say a, like a solid pill form. So, and it's the same brand as my vitamin D that I've been taking. So now I have these two and I feel like it'll just be easy in the mornings, just like, one and then the other one and then I'm done and actually my friend asked me recently like oh have you tried like care of or anything like that and I was like you know I've thought about it but <laughs> the thing is is like I guess with care with care of like you can tailor as long as you know the actual vitamins that you need I think it's fine I've also heard of ritual but rich and ritual is great too because the ingredients are really good however it's like everybody takes the same supplements and it's not really tailored to you it's just like one multivitamin but the best thing that I have found and obviously like you know take anything that I'm saying about vitamins with a grain of salt because I have no medical education at all <laughs> but I went to the doctor recently and got blood work done and they basically told me like you're too high in this this vitamin you're deficient in this vitamin so one of them for example was that my iron is too high so could you imagine if I like did care of or ritual or something and one of the supplements was iron and then my iron was just like way up here so it's just like things like that um, or they told me oh you're deficient in vitamin D and vitamin B12 you need to be taking supplements so it's like those are the only two that I'm really focusing on everything else for me the levels are normal so I feel like if you're gonna do vitamins, and I'm just sharing this with you because I only found this out this year, is that if you want to do vitamins to next time you go to your doctor, just ask for if you can get like a blood test done and they'll tell you what vitamins you should and shouldn't take. So yeah, I feel like if you're gonna do it, that's really just the best way is just go to your doctor. But anyways, okay, <laughs> enough vitamin talk. Let me sort out my laundry. <laughs> Sunday now and last night I just did my laundry I got dinner with Lyle's parents and then we just really stayed in and watched Netflix obviously during COVID you know try to keep things to a minimal also after dinner we saw this little place it's actually like a burlesque show uh was like right across the street and they had like a band outside which was fun so we kind of like listened to the band play for a little bit so that was cool 
and yeah and then this morning so far i brought my laundry back i've been watching tv and oh and i painted my i painted my toenails because i needed to do that i painted them this like actually i'll show you the color it's just this one from sephora i got it a, a kind of a while ago but it's just like a very neutral almost like light brown color and on my little toesies it looks like that but it's like i don't know if you can see from here but it's raining outside today and i'm just really tired it's one of those days where it's like I just want to stay inside just like cozy on my couch and just do nothing and I've been having a hard time motivating myself because there actually is a lot that I can be doing right now. I need to go grocery shopping, etc, etc. But but I've just kind of been not doing any of it and I feel like sometimes when you feel really really productive during the week, it's just like on the weekends you're like I just need to like relax and not do anything I know that it might seem like for me just being one person but anyways but I was just looking at my emails on my phone and I saw that I got two packages delivered so that like made me get right up I like put something on so that I could run downstairs do a tiny bit of makeup too so I that was like just the motivation that I need not the materialistic things should be the motivation that you need but that like your package was delivered email like you know is like <laughs> is like the best email to get so I'm gonna run downstairs I'm gonna grab the stuff and I'm going to just do a little show and tell and show you guys what I got and then I think we're gonna go outside together um, I think I need to just like buy myself some flowers, take care of myself, get the groceries for the week so that I don't end up like not having anything to eat and just like picking at like nuts or something. <laughs> and yeah, I think we just, uh, I just need to get up off the couch and do the stuff. So yes, I'm going to throw a mask on. I have been double masking. I feel like I heard that that was like the recommended thing to be doing now. So I have these. These are my like first layer. These are reusable masks from Amazon. I got the pink ones of course because I mean if there's an option why not. And then on top of that I have been um, doing today at least. I have so many masks but this is the Love Shack fancy one and I love it because it has like the pink with the floral pattern and then these like adorable beads. So yeah, that's just what I'm going to throw on, throw some shoes on, get my package and be right back. So I have two things here. The first is a candle from Anthropology. Ooh, I can already smell it. Okay, I just want to show you what I'm seeing here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, this is it. So I have had this candle before, which is why I got it, because I know that I like it. Usually I wouldn't buy candles online, because obviously, how do you know if you like the smell or not, if you haven't smelled it before. But I uh, first discovered this one in the store one winter when two jobs ago in the winter when I was just kind of having a really rough time with work and I walked into the store and it was like total like cozy vibes oh and I smelt it and I'm like I'm like wanting you to smell it but but basically yeah when I lit it it made me feel really kind of like warm and cozy and it also because it's like gold see how it's kind of like gold flaky when you light it it actually kind of lights up at nighttime and it like lights through the like little cracks and it just gives like a really warm cozy vibe to it the scent is spiced cider so it's definitely a fall winter Scent. I wouldn't really like this as much in the summer, but given that it is still winter time, I know we're going into March, but it just, yeah, it's still going to be cold for another two months, March and April. It's really not, it really doesn't start getting warm here until like May, so we still have two more months of winter, which is kind of a long time, so I'm like, in that time I'm going to need a little pick-me-up. So yeah, I'm thinking, picturing myself lighting this like after work 
or even if it's I'm still working and it's nighttime and it's starting to get dark out um, because the sun goes down so early, just uh, yeah, lighting a candle instead uh, is fun. So yes, I'm really, really excited for that. It looks like this. Um, I bought it at Anthropology, but the brand is Volu Spa. And yeah, this is actually one of their most popular candles and it was on sale. Um, usually I think it's like 28 or 30 something dollars and it was on sale for $14. So I'll leave it linked down below. Hopefully it's still on sale. Um, but if not, I mean, it's still a really, really good candle. And then this I bought from Saks Fifth Avenue and this was marketed to me on Instagram through an Instagram ad. It's from Sync Syncacept, which I believe is one of the brands that I talked about in my like smaller designer brands that everyone should know video. And yeah, so usually stuff from this brand is like 300 something dollars. This was $97 and not only that, but it was a type of style that I've been looking for for a long time. And it's basically like a, it's a dress and it's like a two-toned sort of a thing where it's yeah it's like a mini dress it's black but then it also has this white like shirt underneath and what's cool about this one is it also has like this square belt here so it's just so chic this is a size four and usually i'm a size six in dresses but they were sold out in the six so the four was my next closest and they were also sold out of an eight it was like four two or like zero i think was available at the time so i was like okay maybe i'll try the four so i'm a little bit worried that this might be too small on me but i'm gonna try it on and see um just holding it up it actually looks like it'll be okay so uh yeah but looking at the size chart i was like mm, that might be a bit of a stretch <laughs> but um we'll see it was originally $395. Here is the tag if you want to find this same one, but of course I'll also leave it leave it linked down below. Anyways, yeah, it's so freaking cute, but yeah, I got it for sale for $97, and this is such a good brand. I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna get that, um, and I have been looking for a dress just like this for so long. Um, I'll put up a picture on the screen of what it, how they, they styled it on the model. I think it looks so cool with the snakeskin boots, and I don't own snakeskin boots and honestly I don't know if I should buy them because this is probably the only thing I would wear them with but yeah I would probably pair this with like a cool pair of boots or something and okay I'm just actually I'm just gonna put this on and we'll continue talking about it then <laughs> okay so I really like it and it fits me perfectly I'm actually kind of glad that I got the four because I think that the six might have been a little bit too big but yeah it's so cute it's like it almost to me reminds me of like a little kind of like a school girl type thing but to me this just feels like the perfect work outfit like I would wear this to work any day of the week any meeting all the time this is just like an all-around I could wear this to dinner I could wear this out with like I could wear this in so many situations but oh yeah it's so cute I love that it's like they call it kind of like a skater skirt which is my ultimate best skirt shape is the skater a-line skirts i just think that it's very flat a very flattering shape on like a lot of body types and uh yeah i'll just show you obviously it needs an iron or a steam but it has these kind of like flouncy loose sleeves with and it comes together at a cuff detail with some nice buttons here it has more of a scoop neckline this is attached like the top like the top is attached to the dress and it's it's fully lined um, in the back obviously there's the tag but it just has a button here and a little loop which is totally cool and then I'm gonna try to get it's hard because like with dark colors on camera sometimes uh, let me see if we can get this to really focus okay so from this angle you can see a tiny bit better just because we're right mm. Let me just take you off the thing. Okay, here we go. That's the best light. So, yeah, here you can see that it just has this like belt detail, which I think is, sorry, this is like the worst angle ever, but I can only show you like at my window. Yeah, it has this like belt detail here. Um, and I love that it's kind of a rectangle shape. It's a little bit different. My only thing about it is that as I put it in on the loop that was the best one for my waist, it's kind of, 
like just droops there a little bit so I think that I need to get some fashion tape and just tape it up because there's no other loop back here so it's kind of like it either just dangles there <laughs> or you know because I don't know if like necessarily doing that or whatever is how it's really supposed to go so we'll see but yeah I think that it's just so 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 cute I love it I'm really excited cannot wait to wear this I mean obviously during quarantine there's going to be very limited a number of places that I can wear this but after quarantine oh gosh let me know guys in the comments if you guys have just been like building up outfits over the last year that you're going to wear like once quarantine is over because for me um this is definitely not something I would wear around the house just for fun uh but yay okay cool Okay, so I'm about to head out the door right now, and I'm going to go to this store. It's called Loeffler Randall, and I've been a big fan of this brand for a couple of years now. It's family owned, and it's actually designed here in Soho. Their headquarters are really close by, and they actually just opened their very first physical store uh, this past Wednesday here in New York and it's on Prince Street so like super super close and I'm gonna go check it out um, if you aren't familiar with Locklear Randall and also I might be pronouncing that wrong I'm always afraid I'm gonna pronounce things wrong but if you aren't familiar they are a designer and they do ready to wear they have some accessories handbags but I would say that they're most well known for their shoes and they have the prettiest shoes and i have wanted a pair for so long they're like 200 to 400 dollars average so they're pretty expensive so i don't think i'm going to go in and buy a pair today but i do just want to go in and look because i just like i don't know i like looking at things like this it's like motivating inspiring and to me it's like looking at art is almost like <laughs> looking at shoes is almost like looking at art it's just like a beautiful creation <laughs> so yeah i'm really 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 excited i'm gonna go down there and then also I have um, all of my reusable bags because afterwards I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and do my grocery shop for the week. And it's raining, so I've got this rain jacket on. Um, I got this one from Aritzia. It's just a thin jacket though, so underneath I have like a really, really warm sweater and then also like a thermal layer <laughs> um, so that I'm warm enough. But yeah, let's go. Let's not let's not let this be a rainy Sunday. Let's go do stuff. And then afterwards, I have a really exciting home, not like home renovation, but like home project for my kitchen cabinet. So that's what I'm gonna do when I get back. And yay! Okay, let's go.
around the back. Yeah, it wraps around the back and then, yep. Wait, so you said that, but do you wear, have people worn these if they're not a bride? Yeah, yeah, oh my god, totally, totally. And I mean, a lot, what a lot of brides. Last night just bought. Yeah, yeah. customer last night just for like every day. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. But, and yeah, so they can be worn with anything. That's why I think a lot, why a lot of brides actually do use like these suits because they can wear them for other events, you know? Absolutely. Oh, um, okay. You know, it's not like solely only for bridal. Like, yeah. Okay. I was like, would that be weird? No. Oh my weird? God. No. I think like mm -hmm. with any sort of like summery dress or even just like with you know jeans and a nice blouse, they're perfect. They're yeah, special. those are really cute. Yeah. I feel like I like those ones better. With the strap. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, the mule can be a, like feel a little unstable at times. Yeah. Okay guys, <laughs> I'm outside of Saison now um, just because I think it's such like the prettiest background but <sighs> I am guilty as charged. <laughs> I bought the shoes. <laughs> I got the white ones. I was toying between the pink ones and the white ones. Um, shocker. <laughs> and I ended up going with the white ones because I felt like the pink ones were pretty in and of themselves like as a shoe but on my foot they just made my foot look long. <laughs> but the white ones were just like so 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 cute and I feel like they'd be really flattering and pretty in the spring and the summer with so many just like summer dresses. Um, so yes <laughs> I got them I can't believe that I did because like I said I wasn't even planning on getting them but anyways okay enough shopping for me I really need to like cut myself off <laughs> I'm going to CVS I just need to pick up something really small and then I am going to run to Trader Joe's and then come back
<laughs> so back now oh my gosh it's like so much work carrying those bags like for like a 15 minute walk and then up all my flights of stairs because I'm going to walk up but we're done now so anyways I'm going to do a grocery haul because I know that some of you guys always ask for the grocery hauls so I'm going to show you what I got okay this time I'd say this is like a pretty typical grocery shop for me but then I also got a little bit more snacks than I usually do because I found last week that I didn't have enough snacks and so I ended up just kind of like eating random things but I'm the type of person that like I need to snack throughout the day so I try to make those as healthy snacks as I can. Um, one of them that I got is this organic air popped popcorn and this has no butter, no like sugar, nothing like that. I don't even think that it has salt. Oh no it does have some. So all the ingredients are is organic popcorn, organic sunflower, sunflower oil, and sea salt. So yeah, I love these. I also got sweet potato chips just because sweet potatoes are actually really good for you. And these ones are just, well, they're a little bit more ingredients, but not too many calories. And yeah, sweet potatoes have lots of benefits. I know they're chips though, so like, you know, but at least as far as snacks go, it's on the healthier side compared to like regular potato chips. All right, and then I got some baby lettuce mix. This is what I'm just going to use for my salads this week. I got some eggs. I like Pete and Jerry's eggs. Uh, these are sold pretty much all over the US that I've seen at least. But this, this Pete and Jerry's farm is actually nearby where I grew up in New Hampshire. So whenever I get eggs, I always try to get these ones. Um, sometimes they're like the most expensive eggs though, but for some reason at Trader Joe's they were on sale. So I was like, well, definitely yes. But yeah, I just got like a little uh, six, half a dozen. I got some frozen shrimp and frozen mango because you guys already know. I put these mangoes in my, like all of my smoothies. And then I just like to eat shrimp randomly for dinner, like sometimes. Oh. And then this week I also got some sweet potato gnocchi. I love this. I get this from Trader Joe's kind of a lot. <laughs> and I'm like, it's not really that healthy. So there was a craze at Trader Joe's where they had the cauliflower gnocchi and people like went nuts over them. But I could never find them because they were always sold out. But so then instead I always bought the sweet potato gnocchi. And when I ended up trying the cauliflower gnocchi, I was like, actually I like the sweet potato ones better. So, and this is like a really quick dinner. You can just, um, you literally just dump these into like a bowl and microwave them for a couple minutes and then you just eat them and they're good. I've also done them, like I've roasted them. There's a Pinterest recipe where I uh, put these on like a sheet pan with some like peppers and stuff and um, some like garlic and olive oil and then roasted them and that was really good too. So yeah, there are lots of things you can do with this. It's like a quick, easy, healthy, yummy dinner. Okay, that's it for this Trader Joe's bag. Bag number two, the heavier bag. Of course, flowers. I always get flowers when I go to the grocery store. It's just a thing that I do. I got bananas because I always put these in my smoothies. This week I got ones that were a little bit more green because I have some bananas from last week left over in my freezer that uh, I still have. So I, I could buy them as green so that by the time that I need them, they'll be ripe. So yeah, I'm gonna hang them. Sorry guys, my memory card storage got full and so my camera just shut down. I think what I, the last thing I was saying was that I bought flowers. Uh, but yes, I always buy flowers. And then Barana, because I saw this week uh, someone that I follow on Instagram, Molly Best, she's like a nutritionist, and she made this thing look so good. It was scrambled eggs with burrata and truffle salt, and I really wanna try making them, so I got some burrata. And burrata is usually really pricey, but at Trader Joe's it was so much less expensive. So yeah, got some burrata. And if I don't eat it all on the, I mean burrata is amazing. So if I don't eat it all on the eggs, I can definitely find another use for it. Not one, not two, but three grapefruits this week because I've been really into eating grapefruit lately. And I looked it up and there's so many good benefits of grapefruits, especially um, just like eating one for breakfast. And I got one last week and it just wasn't enough. I was like craving grapefruit. <laughs> so I got three of them this week. I also got two avocados for my salads and a lemon that I also like to use for salads. 
or really i mean there's a lot of uses for lemon i got some butternut squash this one is already cut which is just a little bit more convenient so i'll probably roast some of this up um or cook it up for dinner this week i got some more cucumbers to put in my salads and then I got a lot of berries this week because they happen to have like bigger packs and I just felt like it was a better value since I buy these every week and I freeze them anyway so I know that they're going, it's like, it's not like they're going to go bad, you know, it's a big bulk for only one person. So I got some raspberries, blueberries, a giant thing of strawberries. So yeah, I'm just going to probably wash these off and then cut them up, freeze them, and put everything away and yeah that is it for the second bag and yeah that's what i got for groceries this week something so I very much strongly dislike the look of my kitchen and it's mainly because of these kitchen cabinets behind me I don't know why but whoever renovated this thought that it was a good idea to do clear cabinets which I think I mean I don't know I think that if you're gonna have I like clear cabinets but I feel, I kind of feel like if I have one that's clear, like my stuff that's inside needs to look pretty. Like, I don't know if you have like nice plates or cups or something that you can like stack and make it look nice. But this is my only kitchen <laughs> storage in my apartment at all. So it's just like all of my crap <laughs> is in there. So there's no way to really make it look good when you have to sh fit everything in there because that is the only storage. So, <laughs> I kind of was thinking for a while that I was going to cover it up. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I saw that they made these kind of like clear ones with like a pattern on it, but I just felt like you probably would still be able to see it. So I just figured I wanted to just cover it up with white. So I found on Amazon this paper. It's just kind of like a roll of adhesive paper. And on the back side, it has some like lines. So what I'm thinking about doing is kind of like measuring it, cutting it, and then sticking it on to the outside of the cabinet. This paper came with no instructions at all. It just came literally like this with a piece of tape on it right here in like the Amazon box. And I'm like, hmm, okay, it would be nice if there was some like instructions, best practices, something, but nope, there is nothing. But honestly, I, I mean, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So what I'm going to start by doing is just kind of like rolling this out, measuring, I have a pink measuring tape, and then cutting it, and I'm going to try to get it on without bubbles. So I have my tape measure. I also have this spackler thing, which I feel like maybe I can use to like scrape down it and not to get bubbles on it. If not, I might try to use like the credit card, like a credit card or like a side of a book or something and see how that works. We'll see how it goes, but first I'm going to measure. Right. 
first of all, this side of the paper is not straight. It's like going diagonally like that. So first I'm gonna cut this just to get it all even. So let me also test out the scissors. Oh yeah, these work fine. Good to know I can use regular scissors. Okay, Woo. so that's like the length of it. Wait. Okay, yeah, there's no way it was. 19, damn it. Okay, this little piece is now a scrap. <laughs> that was a waste, okay. I wrote it down wrong. It's 19, okay, so that means then that we have to go the opposite way. I hope I have enough of this. We shall see. Okay, so now we have our first piece and I am terrified, but I'm going to attempt to put it on here. Actually, yeah, let me see how that fits. Okay, it's not bad. It's a little bit too small, which is kind of annoying. So I guess next time I do this, I'll just have to make sure to cut it like maybe a little bit too big. Ugh. Okay, it's proving hard not to get bubbles. I'm gonna try this. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay, so the first one is done, and I don't know, it's not exactly what I had in mind. Uh, partially because it's a different color white than the actual paint on the wood here. This is like a more bright white versus this is more of almost like a slightly grayish white, at least in this light. Uh, and also it has all these bubbles in it. And also obviously you can see on the side. So I guess gas is better than nothing. I don't know, but I'm kind of like now I'm wondering if I should keep going or if I should just buy a different one. This was only $6, so it's not like it's a huge loss here. But I'm thinking if maybe I should try to find a matte one because this one also is shiny and I think that that might be kind of why is that, yeah, this one has a little bit of a shine to it. So I'm thinking before I take all my time doing the rest of them, I think I might just go back on Amazon and order a different, a different kind of paper. Also, if any of you guys are like, do like DIY stuff or home things and you know like what type of paper would be good for this, then definitely let me know in the comments because I'm just kind of guessing here. So if you guys know like what the right type of paper is or solution for covering these cabinets in white, then let me know. Obviously I'm renting so I can't just like, you know, completely tear them out or anything. But <laughs> yeah, let me know if you guys have any tips on that front. Like one of those like so satisfying things <laughs> where you're just peeling off the paper.
I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's Sunday night now, so I'm just going to edit this video and get it live and scheduled for 5 p.m. tomorrow. And yeah, tomorrow starts the work week again, so. <laughs> Uh, but you'll be watching this on Monday, so if you are watching this when it goes live, happy Monday. <laughs> I hope that you have a great week, whether it's work or school or something else. Um, you got this. <laughs> have a great week. And definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the Fashion Squirrel. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye.